So how to communicate with the Chinese people and Chinese government? I, I think this is one of the most difficult but important issues uh, we are facing today. Uh, from the point of view of universal values such as uh, democracy and human rights, of course we cannot say that we agree with what's going on in China in general. But um, you know, when you say that, uh, th there's a risk that the Chinese government and most importantly, uh, majority of the Chinese people would take it as a partisan, uh, not as something that uh, relates to uh, an abstract and you know conceptual arguments, but uh, something that the West uh, might be putting up to you know kind of destabilize the present Chinese. Um, system and that could be uh, another you know way of uh, cultural invasion from the point of view of the Chinese people. Now I'm of course uh, I'm you know for the universal values of democracy and uh, you know um, human rights. Uh, I think it should be uh, highly regarded uh, by anybody in the world, uh, regardless of ethnicity, cultural backgrounds, and, you know, political views. But uh, as things stand now, um, the Chinese government would uh, take any suggestion of, uh, you know, uh, university, of, university of values uh, as ways of criticizing the status quo in China as a means to, you know, destabilize the present system and it has a historical background, of course. Um, the diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Olympics uh, coming up now uh, by countries such as the United States, um, the UK, and Australia uh, would be taken as a partisan moves uh, given the history of China in. You know, modern times, and you know, of course, it's uh, something that can be argued within the context of uh, how we should organize our government and how we should uh, aim to achieve something that is good for all of us. And that I think, uh, you, if you uh, come from um, you know, well meaning. Uh, stance uh, would be the position of uh, these governments, uh, you know, America, the United, United States of America, uh, the United Kingdom, and Australia. But, you know, if you take that context out, uh, it might appear from the Chinese point of view as a cultural invasion, um, an attempt to, uh, you know, unsettle the present uh, system. And, well, I, you know, I have some experience uh, talking to younger generations in China. And what was surprising for me was that they seem to be affirmative about uh, the current Chinese system. Uh, they might or might not be aware of the you know, shortcomings of the present system. Uh, but uh, they, at least a significant majority of them, uh, seems to be in favor of supporting the present government, uh, probably because of the, the education that they have received, or because of the historical background that I have been referring to, and the fact that uh, China has been under, you know, cultural and political and military um, pressure from outside, um, starting from the opium war. And, you know, um, China only recently has started to recover from that uh, history of shame uh, in their own words and you know they are becoming a global power uh, with uh, economic might and they don't want the younger generation don't want that to be changed i mean no matter what the present political system is that seems to be their position so i understand i fully understand the concerns of uh, washington where the chinese system might appear to be superior to the American one um, in the application of artificial intelligence and information technology in governing uh, society, which might be argued to be totalitarian. Uh, but, you know, seen from 
the Chinese point of view, probably uh, what is at issue here is not whether a system is superior or inferior in terms of universal human values such as human rights and um, democracy. Uh, I think they would take it uh, in a more partisan way uh, and uh, it would be taken in the context of China versus the West. And, you know, given the history of uh, China in modern times, um, that would be more significant. This partisan uh, stand viewpoint would be more significant than uh, purely conceptual uh, value-related arguments about human rights and political systems. So, you know, that I think is the status quo of uh, communications involving uh, China uh, in the world today. And it will be very difficult to come out of that partisan, uh, you know, framework. Um, I, uh, as somebody who is based in Tokyo, uh, I really don't know what would be the most effective strategy, if you like, uh, to communicate with the Chinese people or the Chinese government. Um, it'll be difficult to, you know, come free of this partisan um, framework that the Chinese government and the Chinese people seems to be f favoring over purely conceptual value-related discussions about uh, democracy and human rights. So that is my stance today.